Hi guys, this is Peter with Carries.net again. This is going to be keyboard review number two. Um, in this keyboard review, we're going to be reviewing Swipe, which comes pre-installed on all Samsung devices. Again, this is the Samsung Captivate with AT&T. Uh, let's first go into our options. Oh, I went blank right when I tried to click it. Okay, so let's first go into our options. Uh, again, we're in the 2.1. We go up to Swipe and Swipe Settings. So, this is what you're going to see when you go into your Swipe Settings. These are all the options that I have engaged for this test. So, Auto Spacing, Auto Capitalization, Word Prediction, Enable Tip Indicator. Uh, the Tip Indicator is just kind of like a quick help thing that sometimes pops up if you do something new in Swipe or if you uh, start it up for the first time. I'm going to turn off Vibrate on Key Press Off just so you guys aren't hearing annoying sounds throughout this whole thing. Um, display trace is, again, I mean, all these are pretty self-explanatory and they give explanations below. Uh, your word choice window, speed versus accuracy, auto select word afterwards, and then at the bottom, swipe help and tutorial. Again, for right now, swipe is just in beta, but it does have over 150,000 users worldwide, worldwide across platforms. And also today, we are going to be running a swipe essentially contest and partnering up with gizmodo.com and gsmarena.com to bring you guys 100 new invites. Uh, they're going to have some on their sites. We're going to have 50 on ours that we're giving away to 50 random people who post on our careace.net keyboard review article. So let's get into it. Um, if you didn't read the, if you didn't, sorry, read, see the first video, on each of these videos what we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing you um, what each keyboard is like remembering certain phrases that you've typed. So for instance, uh, we have typed three times into each keyboard the Guinness World Record uh, text message. The razor tooth piranhas of the genera Sersamus and Pygocentris are the most ferocious freshwater fish in the world. In reality, they seldom attack a human. Um, after we gonna kind of show you guys what it's like to retype those sentences, we're going to type a brand new sentence that we've never typed into it before to show you what typing is going to be like on an everyday basis. So again, we're showing you what it's like uh, for each keyboard to remember uh, your own user dictionary and your own um, methods of typing, your own individual ways of uh, writing your text messages and then typing a new one to test that out. So going back into it, we're going to go into messaging. And if, no one, if neither of you have ever, if none of you have ever seen Swipe before, First, we're going to go in and go into Swipe. The concept behind Swipe is essentially instead of having to type each letter, you just draw a line between each letter to complete the word. So as you can see, I'll kind of get, do this the best I can. I do that and the is in there. Um, again, you can add words to their dictionary, swiping all over. For example, hello goes from H like that, and then if you've typed in something that it's either confused about or you've typed too much of an ambiguous word, it'll give you these options. Um, it, it'll only give you eight options at a time. It'll give you the option to exit that, and the exit option is if it, none of these eight options are even near it, or if you want to type it in and it's an unrecognized word, so you can add it to the dictionary to be available later. So in this, in this case, we typed hello, so we select that and it puts it in. Um, with swipe, it will auto put in a space. So for example, I am going to type uh, razor tooth piranhas and I'm just going to swipe each word right after one another without putting in a space and you can see what I mean. So let's go. As you can see, it puts in razor tooth with a dash mark. That's what I've typed in in the past that recognize that as a dictionary word. And now I just swipe into piranhas. Um, and then let's continue through the big words, just only half of it to show you guys kind of what it's like. So again, this one set the texting world record. Um, right now it currently resides at a 24.5 seconds, I believe, by a woman out of Britain. Um, but she has yet to go in front of the Guinness World Record cameras to prove it. Okay, so. Sorry, real quick. So as you can see, when I typed, when I swiped Sarah Salmas, it put it in as a lowercase. If I go back and first capitalize and then do Sarah Salmas, then it'll put it in with a capital letter at the beginning. 
Um, this is going to be true for most of the programs when they auto-complete a word. Um, if you watch the 2.1 video, you would, you would have seen that uh, the stock keyboard will take whatever word and how you spell it with capitalization and punctuation and keep it in there. So even if I had typed in Sarah Salmas with lowercase, it would have still suggested Sarah Salmas with a capital S. And let's again just complete it through the next big word, pygocentris. Oh, and as you can see, that was wrong. So when you type in a wrong word that you felt you swiped in the correct manner and the, the, um, the line is still next to it, uh, blinking, so when you click on the little blue swipe in the bottom left, that will highlight the word and then give you alternatives to what you typed. So it looks like I did not swipe even close to what it was, so we'll go back. After you click back, it leaves it highlighted so you can conveniently delete it. And let's try this again. So, pygocentris. Again, it did it lowercase. Um, swipe also supports, whoops, sorry guys. Swipe also is going to support your long hold for your edit text options. Um, going back, kind of showing you around if you go to symbols. Again, it'll show your symbols. You can either do a shift and go to the alternative symbols or you can just hold down and that will insert the symbol that's above it. This is also true in your, AB, in your ABC dictionary. So if you hold down F, it's going to put in a 5 and it's going to make sure that that is what you wanted in there. Um, going back to the top, as you can see in the top left it says EN, so holding down that is going to switch between your languages that you have installed for Swipe. Um, clicking this just when it's at a space, oh, let's see here. Well, normally if you, okay, yeah, never mind, you have to click and hold, and that's going to bring up your tips where you can go into tutorials, more tips, and options. Options is just going to take you back to your swipe settings. Um, clicking on again, going into it. So this is swipe for the Android OS. Uh, and now we're just going to complete it. Again, you can go up to do options, um, going back to ABC. So let's do that sentence that I talked about earlier that we've never done in this right before to kind of give you an idea of uh, what swiping is um, right off the bat and what it's going to be like in your everyday scenario. So let's click and hold this, select all, delete it, and let's see how this works. So. I, you can put in your punctuation. How are you today? Go in, go back. I'm going to the grocery store. Again, I kind of messed up on that swipe so we can kind of look around. That's not the way that we wanted. So we just push exit before it goes in. Store. Now again, if store is highlighted and that's the word that you want, you can just keep swiping and it'll auto put it in just like if words are highlighted in orange in stock 2.1 and you push the space bar, it'll auto go in. And after a while, like you just saw, it'll auto put it in as well. So later today. Oh, and as you can see, we put in a period, but it didn't do the space. So let's go back and try that again. So period, oh, not enter. And sometimes when you correct words, you push a backspace and swipe, it'll kind of get it out of the auto mode. So to get back in, just do a space. It'll auto capitalize it again for that period. And let's go in and just finish this off real quick so you guys can get to the next video. Do you need me to pick anything? Again, go down, not clicking anything else, it should. Again, lowercase, when you click it, since it's at the beginning and it's still in that auto mode, it'll capitalize it, dinner is at five. You select that you wanted to do five, period. Okay, so again, this is swipe on a Samsung Captivate through AT&T. Uh, you can read the full article at carries.net, and if you like what you saw, 
on this revolutionary new way to type on phones. Head to carries.net for your chance to get one of 50 invites to the beta. Also, gizmodo.com and gsmarena.com are also having their own invites to give away this week. So head there, let us know what you think, and stay tuned for the other four videos in this six-part series of keyboard reviews.